Hi, in this lecture, I want to talk about the chi-square test of independence. Let's get started here by uh, importing the necessary libraries. I uh, typically will import NumPy and Pandas to read in the data files or do any basic computation if needed. But of importance here, from scipy.stat, we import chi2 underscore contingency. So this is what we use for the test of independence. All right. Next, I will read the data frame about uh, uh, drinking. All right. Let's take a look at that data. All right. So we have here the gender, male, female, the alcohol, how much they drink, low, moderate, high, low, moderate, etc and then uh, the amount of beer amount of drinking that was done by each uh, gender and alcohol uh, consumption level so to calculate the test of independence i need to aggregate this data so i will create a cross tab of the data so that we could have uh, gender alcohol level and then the drinking have a table, a contingency table. So to do that, I create a variable called contingency, and I just call the cross tab from pandas, pass it uh, the two columns of importance, uh, gender and alcohol. The values will be the drinking, and I use the aggregate function, I call it a sum. But because there is only one value under each combination, it will be the, the 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 value return will be that value. So let let's let's showcase that by uh, looking at the computation. All right. So you can see female high, female high. Okay, we don't see it here. Let's list more data. Let's say we list ten. All right, you see female high is 12. So female high, 12. Female low, 13. So female low, 13. And female uh, moderate, 16. You see? There's only, for each combination of gender and alcohol, there is one number for drinking. So aggregate function equals sum. All right. Now, once we create this table, this is what I call the contingency table. We can just compute the chi-square test of independence by using the chi-2 underscore contingency that we have. So chi-2 underscore contingency and pass it the table. All right. It will return four different statistics. The first one is the chi-square value. The second one will be the p-value. The third one would be the degrees of freedom. And finally, the last one is the expected. It's very important, the order. The order is very important. So if we interchange this and then print it, it will be wrong. So the first one is the chi-square. The second is the p-value. The third is the degrees of freedom. And the last is the expected. So we just pass this contingency table, this table that is aggregated to the chi2 underscore contingency. Let's pass it, and now let's print it. So you can see computed chi-square statistic is 0.28. So computed uh, p-value is 0.87 if we round it, and then here it's given the expected cell count all right for each of the combination so the first row these are the expected cell count and for the second row these are the expected uh, cell count you can see by even looking at the expected cell count that they are very close to the data so there's there won't be uh, significant differences and this is confirmed here the p-value is 0.87, uh, 
which is greater than 0.05. So we can conclude that uh, gender and alcohol level are not related. They are, in, they, they are independent. All right? So this is how we carry out uh, the chi-square test of independence. Thank you.